What's up guys, my name is Brad Martin. You can call me B-Rad. I'm 18 years old and reviewing for Kids First Home Critics. Today, we will be talking about To The Beat, Back To School. If you're looking for a drama-packed, engaging movie, this is the one for you. Tensions are high at Valley Performing Arts when the twins, Mackie and Mia, come back from spring break. The students are all put to the test when they're offered an audition for one of three scholarships to go to the Triad Conservatory of Fine Arts in New York City. Between the huge scholarship, Mia's new boyfriend and Mackie's newfound friend and an old-time rival, Avery, things are bound to get pretty heated. <laughs> there are a bunch of dazzling aspects to this film, one of which is the super believable, amazing acting. Uh, Sidney Bourne, who plays Cassidy, is insanely talented. I love when actors and actresses who play villains can make me just dislike their characters and just get emotions stirred up in me when I see them on screen because they're playing a villain, and she could do just that. It was amazing. I really also enjoyed the soundtrack. It kept the movie lively and energetic, and it was awesome. Another thing that I thought keeping the movie really lively was the dance choreography. It was stellar. Every dance was so visually appealing, I could not move my eyes off the screen because I just didn't want to miss anything. It was that good. Uh, to the Beat, Back to School shows us that people can change and that we shouldn't judge someone by like first appearances or our past memories of them. Making instantaneous assumptions about a person doesn't tell you about what's really going on, how they really feel. I give this film a four out of five stars and I highly recommend to kids ages eight through 18 due to some mischief. Make sure to check out this film March 10th, 2020 on DVD or on video on demand. Trust me, you aren't gonna wanna miss it. That's a wrap for now. I'm Brad Martin, reporting for Kids First. I'll catch you next time.